morning, uh, during Business Morning, we did talk about and uh, give you some corporate earnings, but we do not have an analyst, you know, from the NGX to help us. So let's uh, take some steps back and go back to the NGX and give you those numbers uh, from the earnings as we now have an analyst to join us. So we told you about Transco. Now it's Transco Hotels, those numbers that we gave to you in the morning, Transco Hotels, and highlight of that result. If we could have those slides there, says... Uh, that's their share price. Uh, investors enjoying more than 500%, 518.18% uh, share price compared to last year. Let's look at their profits. Their profit compared 2022 to 2023 there. Uh, we see a growth of 48, 49% uh, for the profit there from 3. from 2.37 billion to uh, 3.53 billion. Also, their revenue saw an increase there, 27 Seven percent increase. Wow. So um, even though on the other hand we had Glasgow Smith Line, you know, recording negative and even now exiting their operations in Nigeria, we still have some good news. And let's have joining us now Azizat Awonuga here. She is a securities analyst, Parthian Securities Limited. Uh, hi, Azizat. Well, when I saw these numbers, I was like, oh, thank God, we still have some good news, you know, in spite of the FX factor, which we see affecting a lot of results at the first of the ha first half of this year, we still have like Transco Hotel. Hospitality business is still booming. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so due to the FX losses that, you know, the exchange rate, Buhaha, as I should say, um, caused, right? We saw a lot of industries get affected. Um, we even saw the large named high cap stocks get affected, you know, the likes of MTN, Airtel, even Dangote, right, Nestle. So it is not far-fetched, right? So for consumer goods, for example, where GSK um, falls under, we saw that the likes of UAC, they actually recorded an exchange rate gain of about 3.5 billion, but it was almost the exception. So GSK saying they're exiting the Nigerian market is really not as far-fetched as they had been divesting, you know, bit by bit over the years. So right now, what we're waiting to see is the draft scheme of arrangement presented to SEC. So this might also include investor um, cash distribution. So I think Today at intraday, GSK was the top gainer with 9.9%, um, priced at around 890. And this is because investors are hoping that when you know the scheme comes through, they are able to buy them off at higher prices. That's very risky, isn't it? What if the scheme is not profitable? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. I mean, we saw that in um, Adova. So after they had also mentioned that they'll be delisting, we saw investors rush to, you know, get the stocks. And then the prices that they actually took over at were lower at trading prices as at that day. So, um, yes, it might be good for trading as a trader, but definitely not as an investor. So if, let's say, a trader had entered the market this morning, in GSK, they would have made about nine percent, nine point nine percent actually of their of their um, capital. Do we know how long this window is open for? I mean, for GSK. Okay, Not so over. um, generally, right, the market in itself, apart from you know the ones here and there where there are news in the likes of GSK, the likes of the Dangote Sugar Nascon merger. Today, we actually saw a bit of a decline, especially on the premium board. So if you had noticed the trend last week, what we saw was that um, there was a negative, you know, there was a sequence of negative returns. And then this just turned back on Wednesday, right? You know, the market gained about 0.2 and yesterday gained 0.1 point. Um, if they 1.55. But today, what we saw was that at midday, MTN was already losing 2.8% to a day low of 272 naira after opening at 280 naira. But this is not far fetched as the 52 um, week high for MTN was 285 naira. So it's just normal market movement, you know, the reversal. So we all know about the surge that happened when the new president just came into play. And now the market is starting to correct itself. We also saw the likes of UBA down 1.7%, today low of like 14 or 10 cobble, access down 2.6%, 2.6%, 17 naira. 
But Zenith and Wapco actually gained the bid 0.9% and 0.7% respectively um, to day highs of 34 and 28.20. So generally, the activities in the market are a bit mixed. But um, activity in the likes of GSK, Dangote, Nascon, when news are pushing um, trade volumes are kind of sustaining that momentum for it to still be positive. Mm, so we see uh, a marginal increase at, at intraday. How do you see the market closing? Yeah. Honestly, today is a bit tricky because um, it's trading very marginal. It's like right on the line, right? So it's 0 0.02, which is almost <laughs> insignificant. So um, it's possible that we see moves or trades that can either move it higher or lower before market closes. So any little thing now can tilt the scale either way. All so right. it's a tough call. <laughs> tough call, but we'll certainly watch and report as he's at uh, Wanunga Securities Analyst with Perfe and Securities Limited. Thank you so much uh, for your perspective. Thank you. Thank you for having me.